everybody welcome back to Avo tutorials today i would like to show you a really neat trick on how you can combine two csv files together usually how you would do it manually is you're going to copy the data and then you're going to paste it and then you're going to save it as a new csv file so it's going to take a long time to do that if you have multiple files and a lot of data and i'm going to show you how to do that really quickly first things first make sure you save your csv files in a folder so mine is saved within the csv files folder i'm going to go back and i'm going to copy the path name of this so you're going to right click and then you're going to hold down the option key and you'll see this option over here so click into it then i'm going to go into my terminal so i'll search up for my terminal and it's going to open it i'm going to make it bigger okay and then i'm going to type cd space paste the path name of your folder and click enter now your computer knows which exact folder that you're referring to you can type cat star dot csv arrow to the right merged dot csv so merged dot csv is just the name of how you want the file to be outputted you can name it however you like i'm just going to name it merge and then press enter so when I press enter, I'm going to go back to my CSV file. You can see a new CSV file has been created and it's called merged. I'm going to open it up. And you can see that the data has been merged, but it's not in the, you know, clean format that we'd like it to be. Sometimes it will work perfectly, but sometimes it doesn't. Sometimes it's due to spaces and empty cells that you may not even be aware of, but it's going to take time for you to clean up. So we are going to change up the code that you're going to put in the terminal. So I'm going to delete this, remove this from my folder, okay, and we go back to our terminal. We're going to type out sed function, the command sed, the apostrophe at the top, slash, arrow, and all of this. Don't worry, I'll keep this in the description so you can just copy and paste it in your terminal. And then I'm going to press enter. You see that this appeared, click into it. Bam! There you go! Awesome! Everything now is in place. It is nicely formatted. You know, it's in the exact same columns, data structure. And that's how you do it. I hope this video was helpful. Don't forget to give me a like, share, and subscribe. Also, comment down below any kind of automation you'd like me to teach in future videos. And I hope to see you in the next one. Bye!